That was fucking awesome. Yeah. Let's give a shout out to Pop Cashby for that awesome, that awesome video he spent um, God knows how many hours putting that thing together. But um, yeah, just, just to tell you one thing about that, we're full of ourselves, which is why you saw all of us in there. Uh, typically with this video, it's actually basically new faces, people from the community. Any of you are welcome to submit clips and be in these videos that we're putting up over on the hub. And um, just, and it's all for uh, WXP. So it's Pup and Friends is directly related to WXP. So um, uh, we're gonna end really quick with uh, announcements, then do a little bit of Q and A. Um, I guess the first announcement is that Griffball.com will, in the future now, be delivering three different videos officially. Uh, the first one's gonna be Game of the Week, and the Game of the Week basically is a full entire game from eight different views which you know, can last an hour and 16 minutes. And uh, we will be delivering those weekly during regular season. We will also have a short five minute version with all the highlights, just you know, for those of you that don't wanna watch a long, long, long video. Um, the other ones we'll be doing is uh, highlights for league play. Those will be bi-weekly, so people that are playing in the league can submit their highlights, they're reviewed, looked at, and then put into a video that'll look a little bit like this, but uh, both Game of the Week and Highlights, instead of having music, they actually have commentary by uh, men's down there. Right. I actually believe they're moving to a more of a top 10 um, oh, I forgot about every, that. every two weeks. Good, good job, men's. And um, the last one is um, Pup and Friends, which will be delivered once a month, obviously. WSB only happens once a month. Um, also, I'd like to announce that we are taking GriffBallHub.com, and uh, they're now the official fan site of GriffBall.com, so... That's how we're taking it all under. Uh, registration start for next league will be September 9th. And then the final announcement is about ranked griff ball. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in playing some ranked griff ball, trying to get that 50. Yeah. The, so uh, set your calendars. It will be the first week of December to celebrate two years of griff ball. December 6th, I believe, is the date. Yeah, give or take a couple. I'm not good at math, so. But, uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you guys want to now, you're welcome to go ahead and line up if you have any questions. And yeah, oh, snap. You, you go for it. I believe in you. You can do it. Uh, stuck. No. <laughs> Somebody get him a phone book. There's <laughs> <laughs> soap box or something. Yeah, save until after, okay? So, uh, yeah, you go. He's got to run and turn the mic on. Don't run away yet, guys. Yeah. We might have something else for you. Yeah, um, a note to can you tell this to the level creator thing? Um, just something Knock that yard. you What? Knockyard. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the. Oftentimes in matchmaking, I've noticed, especially this would happen with um, unlimited time matches, is if one team gets a good start, it'll control it, and um, they won't even score. They'll just control the game and not do anything. So um, if you can tell this to your level editor to uh, make some sort of like teleporters or something, or a different spawn if they're over there, or something like that. So you're talking about making just like a fun variant to add to matchmaking where you have crazy teleportation all over the place. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like um, oftentimes the one team will control the spawn and you'll never be able to spawn and they'll just get like killing. Oh, spawn kill. killing. Yeah. And spawn killing is actually a part of the game. That's what makes it so crazy. It's a legitimate strategy. <laughs> Much better than camping. Well, well, <laughs> But that being said, also, um, if your team is not actively trying to score, um, you actually can be uh, suspended for uh, league play for doing that in matchmaking. If you're, uh, okay. yeah, for if you're stat padding and not attempting to score the bomb at all, so. we will find you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks. But no, you can come on up here really quick to my buddy uh, Shadow. He has something for you. Okay, this is more of a curious curiosity type question since y'all are here, maybe we're gonna be here next year. 
But what is the possibility of getting word out to where next year we take one of the bigger halls and do some four-on-four -four live action group ball? There was a, there was actually a tournament last year. Um, we, we contacted the PAX people too late this year. Um, they said we'd love to do it, but we just don't have the resources. He's talking about live action. Live, oh, live action. action. Okay. I, like, my I mean, I understand you'd have to have some padding for safety and everything like that. Yeah, that'd, that'd be really, I'd from, be in like, for that. You make some, like, actual... Hey, you I am call so me in on that one. And that, that may, i got to say, that may be the best idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hit people with a hammer. <laughs> Who's writing liability forms? Dibzell. <laughs> Oh. Somebody Fumble. failed, Jim. Way to fail. He doesn't run the ball. I don't. He, he, he is a tank. Uh, hey, guys. Um, now, this may be a little silly question, but I've seen how all you guys play and seen how Bernie plays. Um, <laughs> and absolutely, it's all fantastic. Uh, never can beat Mark, or I'm not as good. But I always wondered, how does uh, Jeff do at this? <laughs> um, Jeff, Jeff doesn't play ever so that he can pretend like he's good and, and, we, and we can't question it until he can prove that. So Technically speaking, he is the best runner in the league. Technically, he is the one that scores every goal. Really? So he should be on top of the list then. You know, uh, we actually made Griff Ball because we suck so bad at Halo that we couldn't, we couldn't play like Slayer with BRs because we're terrible at that. Then we made Griff Ball and we... Joel, we stopped playing, what, for a couple of months making Rivers Blue. We went, we went back and played, and suddenly the game went from being played on the ground to being played in the air, which you can see in the highlight clips. Like, how are these people flying to the air? And so we didn't understand it. So Griff, he's as terrible as he is at anything else in Halo, which is <laughs> about the bottom of the barrel, as, about, as bad as it gets. Oh, good to know. He's better than Gus, though. Drew, you want to know? Is he? Yeah, um, well, I mean, I played, both, I played both Jeff and Gus's team in the original Winter League, and... Um, we actually scored four goals in 59 seconds on Gus's team, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Uh, I know that Griff Ball got started um, way back when you guys were doing that uh, Halo 2 episode of Red vs. Blue where Sarge mentions, the, mentions uh, this is the best game since Griff Ball. Season 4, episode 2, I believe. <laughs> we actually you looked it up. Last He's night not that hard hardcore. I still knew it up to begin with. But um, where did you actually get the idea that Sarge would say, this is the best game since Griffball, because that pretty much just came out of nowhere. Well, yeah, it did come out of nowhere, but he also talks about having things like the Griff cannon and the Griff gun, where he fires Griff out of it, and like, <laughs> so that he can paint the walls a very disgusting color of Griff. And, uh, and then Griffball was just another ridiculous thing that was stuck in there. He's playing a game where he was wanting Griff to walk back and forth like a duck at the carnival and shoot him, and he says, this is the best game since Griffball. And so we had no idea that three years later, four years later, we'd stumble into something that we'd actually call Griffball. It seems like it, seems like it was really well laid out, but no, it was just random luck. 